you know this is still a very new process to me so like what i do is i like i'll go back and obviously i'll be like hey you know before i put this out you know like check it check it out like li this is what i got you feel me yeah so so yeah um, no dude i was uh what's it called i uh i did like one other type of like interview type thing type podcast i, I don't know we just spoke our minds i feel like i don't know i really i don't know i, I for me, I just kind of like I'll ramble off on some topics. So like I just, yeah, I don't really. Yeah, no. Interviews feel more like podcasts, but uh, but well, like this... we like we talked for like two hours straight, and I didn't realize it. I was just like, well, <laughs> well, that's the thing that I try to find in people though that that do want to like come on this this show or whatever. Since it's very new, I I like having conversation, and so like yeah. especially if it's like with you know, new people, you know, just, just as like, and people that are willing to hold a conversation. So this is also new for me because I'm getting to know yeah. you, you know, at the same yeah. time, but it's very apparent that like, there's some lore. You obviously went to the same school as I did, you know, growing up and shit like that. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's crazy. That's just crazy, bro. We actually were at Chisel probably like the same years. No. I was just a great older. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's probably crazy. That's nine times out of ten, like, probably but, what it is. Uh, before we were in the same grade, we fucking probably hung out just fucking because of time. I've, I'm I've going probably... By, like, <laughs> um, so, so, welcome to the podcast. Um, I want to <laughs> give a young, sh give a shout out, you know, thank you to uh, my good friend here and a new, new friend of mine, Young Decker. Thank you for coming on. Uh, please What's inter good? please introduce yourself. I'm Young Decker, or just call me Decker. Um, young, like, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm Decker. I make music. Uh, I'm from Dallas, but I moved out to OKC and I've been out here for like four years making music and trying to like build the name. Um, yeah. mm. <laughs> well, I dude, I'm gonna be honest from an outside perspective. Uh, before we jump in, like I said, like I just like, I don't know if you checked your your SoundCloud or anything like that. Like I just followed you just now, so you can call me. Yeah. A, you can call me a hoe. Fuck it. But I've been listening though, and obviously I've been in the background. I've been over at Soda Jocks, and we fucking obviously I, I hear the process. Like I was there for the process of you of you making one of the tracks, which I thought was interesting. You know, yeah. so I was just, dude. I can actually, I'll, I'll preview, I'll preview some of it later, but yeah. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I was at Soda Jocks last night and I saw the video. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, dude. That I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm I probably won't preview that. Um, I'm editing it. Just like I don't know. Like, I kind of realize like nothing gets done unless I do it. But like, <laughs> yeah. except for like some stuff. Like, I have this homie, um, odd one out, which. We may turn into odd ones out because we may turn them into all and but um mm -hmm. he was like always coming through in like clutch like i'm like hey man i need to shoot a music video and he's like yeah let's do it like no charge nothing he's just like yeah let's get it done and so like we shoot <clears throat> we'll shoot these uh, well shot yeah we'll shoot the footage and then they're like i don't know sometimes we just forget about the footage being edit needing to be edited so like yes two days ago I, I just started fucking around and trying to do as much as possible to the to the clips and i i ended up being like oh fuck this is pretty much close to being done if i put more edits and you know, like effects in it but what are you are, using <clears throat> i'm using shotcut dude it's free um never heard everything that i try anything that i do with music in like art I try to do it free or if not free, like the least. Oh, music, dude, music's been like, music has been like the most expensive, like to invest in. But like, learning, my whole thing is, is I want to learn everything that I can about music and like what I need to get done in order to mm -hmm. artists to look at, you know, like, God, it's legit, well put together artist. I want to yeah. do it independently, so I don't want to rely on like. A bunch of people so i want to do it all myself like editing right now i'm learning it all I'm like man i when i learn these types of things i don't understand why people charge so much but that's just because 
for me, I'm like making art should be accessible to everybody. Exactly. Um, but then there's also a part of me that's like, I don't want to be the dude <laughs> to fucking sell this shit for low prices. Cause like at the end of the day, I have my own free time. That's my time. I want to like do my own thing. Like I want to fucking rest and sleep during my free time because I work a, a hard, like, you know, labor job, like doing construction. I don't. Oh, you too? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't like fucking. Don't worry, like, I bro. Used to, I used to record all the time. I used to record all the time, not giving a fuck. And like, I used to have energy for it whenever I was working a desk job doing phone calls all day, man, I got a labor job, and now I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you, I'm going to have to play the outside. You don't have to tell me where you work or, or what exactly you do, but, like, what what do you do outside of music? Like, what is it? What what keeps the Dude, money uh, rolling in? What keeps you afloat? I, uh, so, my, like, nine to five daily is, uh, fucking, I build row houses. Row for houses. Spencer. Like, so, uh, in Oklahoma, weed is medical here, so... Basically, all that medical weed has to oh, be grown Oh, shit. Somewhere. Okay, that's cool as fuck. And so, these companies will come in, they'll pay my boss to build a, like, set up a construction site and build up a big old warehouse for that's a grow house, and, and there's, like, four different grows, and shit, it's crazy. Like, yeah, we build grow houses, but it's, it's lit. It's, Dude, that's, it's that's, that's a pretty fortunate fucking job. I would fucking love that. You know, uh, I'm yeah. doing this move to uh, Michigan. Um, hold on, give me a second. I'm doing this move to Michigan, and uh, you know it's like legalized up there, you know. And yeah, you know I, I don't know. It'd be cool to work on some grow houses if possible because I'm I, I'm an electrician. So uh, outside yeah, dude, outside I, of this, it's just we like, have electricians on the fucking on the, the site daily. Dude, okay. they're also some of the coolest people. Like, all the people that I work with are really cool people, and they all have, like, their own little niche that they're into. But also some of them are, I don't know, man, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's, the, like, it's cool, though. The it's, like, it's, I don't know how it is up there, and especially in that space. Uh, every kind of, like, you know, workspace is kind of different. How big are these grow houses? Like, like super big? <laughs> like, like... Five times, six times. That's my <clears throat> apartment's like a two bedroom, two bath. Okay. Well, okay. So we're looking at like, I don't know. It's just fucking. It's, it's huge. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could only imagine, but I will say, like, and we're like up in the air too. Like, like oh. whenever we're doing, like, what we're doing, like. What we're doing is we're hanging like unit struts in this fucking warehouse right now. We're lights oh, warehouse. And, like okay. lighting yeah, yeah. and stuff. Because like that's essentially what it is. Like if you think about it, the size of one of these grow rooms is like the size of a warehouse. And like or kind of I guess like unit of a warehouse. It's like six units. Crazy. Like it, it Yeah. Eight units. Holy Yeah. Um but like we're like twenty years. Yeah, it's crazy. We're like twenty feet in, up in the air and shit, like just patching unit struts and shit. Yeah, that's it's crazy. crazy as fuck. Yeah, <clears throat> because it's almost almost it sounds about what the same thing I'm doing. Um, I won't I won't say exactly where, but like I, yeah, just all I do is you know basic construction work on whatever commercial business is <clears throat> being built up here in like the DFW area, and yeah. <clears throat> Dude, construction, like, <clears throat> commercial work, the blue-collar business is something fucking else, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> but at the same time, like, we're learning trades and shit, and, like, later on down the line, it's going to pay off. Like, <clears throat> later on down the line, especially, dude, I don't know. The way I see it is, like, music's lit and shit, and if I get music, that'll be When great, shit hits you know? the fan, when shit hits but the fan. But at the same time, I want to, like... I want to make sure that I have this backup plan that it's going accordingly. And that, of like, course. This backup plan <clears throat> is more put together than the music because the music is really, music's all about chance. You get hurt dream. by the right people and they put you onto the right playlist or something like, dude, I really, 
it's crazy, man. Like, you, do you put your music on like a uh, other like, like a uh, like like this like DSPs, or do you only have it on SoundCloud? <clears throat> like, so I have um I have music on all platforms now. Like, all the music before the song Blue, which is the latest song on uh, all platforms, song, yeah. uh, that song is the kind of new direction that I'm going in and mm -hmm. everything kind of previous is just like what I used to do. Um, and I, in this new album that I'm putting together too, the interludes will kind of show like, you know, it kind of shows the roots that I come from and like, yeah. I show out that, yeah, I, you know, I've done hip hop and it's fun to fuck around with. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's a fun genre to, to kind of mess around with. And mm -hmm. just, do whatever and kind of talk to shit. Did um, you, uh, was that you on, uh, was that you on Ten Toes Down? Yeah, yeah, that's me on Ten Toes Down. Dude, Excuse that me. shit was fucking fire. <laughs> I just, I just want to say, like, I'm a real big, uh, I'm a real big X fan. And so, yeah, like, that's yeah, the yeah, vibe. dude, that, I, <clears throat> X is, dude, so it's weird, because whenever I was getting into hip hop, right, like, Suicide Boys was in, and I was, I was rocking out to that shit like mm -hmm. heavy, right? Mm -hmm. And then also there was these like you know other um, artists that my that a <clears throat> homie of mine in Dallas, he uh, went by like Sauce Man or something like that. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. remember? Um, but shout out Ian, he uh, he would put me on to all this like underground hip hop, right? And there was mm -hmm. this uh, artist named Father. He had a song oh, Father called Goes Hard. Wrist. Right? Yeah, wrist, yeah, yeah, wrist. Yeah, that song, Wrist. Wrist, Wrist. Yeah, yeah, dude, that song's lit. It's my, one of my favorite <laughs> songs by him. And so, yeah. like, I'll, dude, I'll still to this day play that shit. Mm. Just sit there and, like, mm -hmm. look at me, like, weird. And I'm like, exactly. yeah, I don't, I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But I parodied, I, I did a parody of it, like, just kind of, like, randomly. I was just, yeah, like, just choking around, whatever. And I was talking about being stoned and sleeping and eating munchies and shit. You know, and it was just like stupid, right? And like that's what got me into like rapping. Though. Like I was just like having fun with it, being stupid. And bam, I was like, that's good. Fun. That's From good. there, like I went and like our homie Lydia had a rec uh, studio, and <clears throat> I fucking went recorded there. And my parents kicked me out. Mm -hmm. And like for three days straight, I was just over at her crib in her studio room, just like making music. And she had mm -hmm. all these dads too. That she'd be like, "My dad," and I'm like, <laughs> "Like I just hate dads in Dallas." And I'm like, working in this studio on my music, on music, just like fucking around. It took me three days to make a song that was just about dads, and I was like talking about taking dads. That's oh this, all the songs. And, and it was basically just me like goofing around, like not given a fuck but then like i don't know i was also taking not taking music as serious and then mm -hmm. i got into an apartment and i was like last off i started making like started rapping and using my laptops built-in mic mm -hmm. from the webcam and i just bend that shit closer down like downwards and closer to my mouth and i just like sit there with my headphones in yeah and I'd start rapping into it <laughs> and like you pick up my vocals and I could mix it and master it since I was doing dubstep before and uh, producing beats before. Like I could mix and master all that shit where it didn't sound like that bad and it actually sounded decent and it sounded sometimes better than other people's shit that was done at a studio. And I was like, damn. So I don't mm -hmm. know. Kind of fast forward, I ended up moving here and working, like working on my sound design and working on my mix after I got a mic and texting. Yeah. Uh, I DM'd the artist N7 and PWAP, and I was like, hey, I got this. Who'd you, you DM? Know, like, N7 and PWAP. Do you okay. want me to play one of their songs? Uh, no, nah, just send send me it. I'll, I'll play it later because we got like a right. time limit that we're on right now. Okay, okay. Oh, I just, well, uh, real quick, I just have to let you know I might have to do a brief little intermission, but I'll cut it here in a bit. All right. Um, but um, continue on. So, uh, so you DM so, yeah, the homie? I DM them and I'm like, yo, I'll record y'all for free. I got the studio in my crib. Like, I, like, I just want the chance to like do something it, like bigger than what I'm doing right now, music. So like, I'm like, fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Like, 
we'll take you up on that offer. And I was like, all right, cool. So I start mixing and like, or I start recording P-Wop. And then Seven came over too one time and like, that was cool. And he's come over a lot like more since, but like P-Wop and I really got like a really close connection. So I started like recording him almost every day. And you lo and behold, like his birthday comes along. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get him a bottle. Like we're gonna get some coke, we're gonna get some uh, cracking. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and knock out a banger today, and like that's how I saw it. So like we went over, he's like pulls up his uh, audio track, and I'm like, yeah, this is about to be a banger. I look up at the other stats too, and like he's getting lots of views. So I was like, all right, bet make this song. It in total like hit a hundred thousand streams like a while. It was crazy. Like, I was just like, what the fuck? This blew my mind because I was like, I'm just kind of like, I'm new at this shit. Now I'm like, the shit that I'm working on is making this kind of views. Mm. And so, those are good. That um, happened. And he started promoting the fuck out of me. And so, like, a bunch of people like started coming to, to me, like, to record. And I was just like, damn, this is crazy. And like, for a minute, like, I was taking it on and I, I was handling it, but like, I don't know. It's it crazy. I had to. You I still had, have I had it. I had to step back. No, I didn't do like I have it for myself. It's just like I had to step back because it's just like too much stress. Too many oh, yeah. like um, people who are gonna like expect the shit at a certain time, and like sometimes like shit takes a minute. Sometimes you gotta mix and master it three different times just to know. All right, yeah, this one was the best one. Or all right, no this one's actually better than that mixed out. You know yeah. and So, like... Trust me, I you, fucking watch Sam... I mean, Soda Jock do it all the fucking time. But that's why yeah. you won't drop a fucking song because he's like, it has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. And I'm like, I got you. But yeah. fuck. <laughs> and that's the thing. is like, I'm, I'm, I'm like that. I'm like, everything has to be perfect, right? And so, like, they'll see me put a premix on their vocals in, like, 30 minutes, maybe even less, like, real quick you know, in the studio while they're recording. Mm. But then, like, you know, when it takes time for the actual mix and master, it takes the time, you know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just, like, some people get a little upset. And it's just, so I, I decided to just kind of step back and, like, I let them find other engineers that they're going to like better, as well as, like, kind of take a step back from myself, get myself resituated and kind of make sure that, like, I was handling my own things yeah. as a as a as a man as a as human, a human being, being. Like, yeah 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 making sure that like shit's getting paid and shit like that so I like, understand I, gotta, I understand I had to make sure I step back get that situated and then from there like trust me I really, have those moments I have those yeah. moments I hate to cut you off but like I have those moments myself like with like the YouTube shit you know because like it's I don't know how deep you you've dove into my videos on an outside perspective but like i've been doing this shit for for years but it was all just kind of like for shits and giggles you know kind of shit like that but like it was always kind of like a dream in the background to kind of like get to where i am today to have the material the recording the the program the microphone the fucking yeah you know everything just to look professional in a way you know what i'm saying so like to get here you know, in itself like that, like, it's just like, it feels great, you know, even though like the, the views and everything, like they come, you know, but like, you know, it's not obviously not that big. I think my most viewed video right now is like 2000 and that's like on some like real, like on my own shit. No, no, nothing. Like I didn't see yeah. any content or anything like that. And it's, yeah. and I, I find it like kind of like crazy, like how it just takes like that, that one song or that one video, you know, to, to get right, it, because yeah. what would you say that one song for you is that kind of, like, brought you up to that that point? Dude, ten toes down? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, so, like, it was weird, man. Like, I had made, like, No Hook and Mignogna and all that shit, right? And, like, I was, I, I had, like, it was weird. I like to, like, almost, I wish I had, like, a footage of how it happened, man. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was at, like, the 3,000 range where I was getting 3,000 plays, like, on all songs, everything was like 3,000 plays, 1, like 2,000, 5,000, like around there, you know? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I dropped 10 toes down. And within that day, like, that one shot up to like fucking 
I think it was 15,000 and all my other ones shot up to like, like 11,000 and 12,000, like 10,000, like shit like that. And I was just yeah. like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? And I was just yeah. like, I was seeing all these comments pour and I was just like, it, it, I it's guess working. this is what it's like to drop something and like people actually pay attention and like from there dig deeper. Like, I don't know, man, like shit was weird. And all I was doing was paying like bigger artists to repost me on SoundCloud. It's like, hey, how much to get me a repost on your SoundCloud for two hit? And you like, this much. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd pay them. And there they'd post me on SoundCloud. And I'd kind of watch, not to be like weird or anything, but I'd watch their SoundClouds just to make sure like they still had me reposted. Yeah. And I'd also watch to see if anybody else purchased a repost after me. Right? Well, that's pretty so normal that, that they That kind of take... tells me, that tells me, okay, somebody just, Re got reposted like and their shit's gonna show up before mine let me listen into that make sure that it's quality because if it's not quality then like i'm basically out that way like, mm -hmm. they kind of tell me like all right well and like for a minute there's yeah <laughs> what year did you yeah. make 10 toes down man that was like right before covid hit like, right really it was weird like like it was yeah it was like that January or something, I like dropped 10 toes down. I was like going to all these shows and shit, and then COVID hit, and I was like, fuck. And then still going to these shows and shit. <laughs> like, I had, I was like, I have to maintain this drive. And like, I was maintaining it for that a good minute. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, I stopped making songs because, like, Cause of I fell into this, COVID, like, right? yeah, I was like, COVID's got me kind of down the covid and sucked then, covid sucked yeah, at that moment then, yes like i just want to hold on let me stop you real quick because like that time before you go any forward like i remember it was like such a weird like era is like uh well artists need to go to these shows like how the fuck are the arts gonna make money how you know how is like the arts and culture and like you know shit that keeps people like emotionally feel good music you know shows I guess bars where you have those little shows at or whatever, you know, how is that going to help? Like what's going to happen there? But eventually here we are again. You can do it now. You think? Uh, I think with my new stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just like in Oklahoma city, I've tried messaging like menus and shit to try to like set up events. And you got to come to Texas, I guess. Well, that's the thing is, like, I have a history of doing that in Texas, and I have, like, a portfolio from my home like, that I used to set up shows with in Texas. Or, yeah. like, I set up a show with him, but, like, I'd help recommend other, like, just for his shows. Yeah, like, yeah. Other shows and shit. Yeah. Um, and he's, like, use my portfolio whenever you're hitting up these things, and I'm, like, okay, but And <clears throat> sometimes, like, you know, I'm, like, I try to get their attention first. And not this. So I'm just... For me now, I'm I'm realizing it may be easier to start a DIY venue more than anything. Oh, yeah. So I have a homie with the speakers. I have a location. Like I, I have a location. It's pretty lit with like what it, how it could be, how it could turn like what it could turn out to be. Because mm -hmm. the when I think DIY, I'm thinking like okay, this is some underground shit. This is some like you know, this is some stuff where it's like you, you kind of expect some grittiness, and so like a mechanic shop, for instance. Do you want to hear something crazy? Hold on, I mm. hate to cut you off, but like, do you know a guy by the name of Go Yayo? Yeah. Okay, so he's an artist out of Fort Worth or da or something like that, Dallas. I can't remember where he's out of, but um. Yeah. Uh, I remember years ago. F fuck. Maybe four, three years ago, uh, Go Yayo throw through a a little uh, like I guess concert slash whatever it was. Maybe like what you're kind of talking about. He threw the party at. Do you know where Roller World is? Have you ever yeah. heard of Roller World? Yeah, I know where Roller World is. He threw a fucking concert at Roller World. Damn, like that's on three seventy. That's three seventy seven. I think right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a. Roger Road or whatever, like yeah, it's that that road that fucking goes forever, forever. bro. And like, 
It also apparently has this horrible traffic. When I was a kid, it didn't have horrible traffic. And when I was like a okay. freshman in high school, it didn't have horrible traffic. When I was a kid in high school, me and Ty, um, me, Soda <laughs> Shock, and Kojak uh, number two, oh my god. Oh, we, yeah. Uh, It's mm-hmm. fucked up shit, dude. We threw, <clears throat> so we were throwing eggs out uh, at cars on the highway passing by. Oh my god! Oh and my god. Uh, long story short, some some dipshit in our crew threw a handful of rocks. Yeah. And so we, we yeah, and we had to run like it is. Yeah, that's some kid. That's some definite kid shit. You know. That's yeah. Dude, I was like. And then, like, next thing you know, like. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I hear it getting back here, Monson. And then I hear it, like, get really close. And I'm just like, shit. Like, grabbing onto the tree, like, trying to, like, use it to build momentum. Oh, God. Oh, God. I ran so. I've never ran. I don't know. I don't think I've ever ran so fast. But what I was. What I was originally saying, though, is, like, back to the DIY you know, things like, where would you throw your, like, little concert at, you know? A mechanic shop. Oh, you said a mechanic shop, okay. Yeah, so, uh, I have a family member who owns a mechanic shop, and the back of the mechanic shop is pretty much this perfect square, and, like, aligned with, like, one of the corners is, uh, you know, like, the bands, like, the stages, that way nobody gets hurt by it, but he's away from it. We just your microphone. Sure every, <laughs> your microphone cut out. Uh, basically, it's just like I don't think that's your cool. microphone. I think your I think your webcam is your. What? Micro, I think your webcam is your microphone right now. Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> Check uh, your settings. I didn't want to say because we were on a roll. Sometimes you just want to stop someone, but it's all right. I'll, I'll fucking cut some of this shit. Yo, out. can you hear me? Oh, that's perfect. That- Woo, crispy! <laughs> All right, but you gotta you gotta make sure you're a little bit close to it, though. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, here. That's. Yeah, is that's, this better? Is this better? Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so good. basically, I was like, <clears throat> "Fuck, dude." Sorry. Basically, okay, wait. We're, the we're, ma- we're, mechanic we're, shop. The mechanic shop. Oh, yeah, shop. the mechanic shop. So, yeah, like, basically, we're going to make it to where, like, it's very safe. We're going to, like, try to make sure that ev- anything that anybody can get hurt by is put up. And, yeah, I'm going to try to throw a show at a mechanic shop and see okay. what kind of pool it brings in. Uh, probably make it free for the first time mm-hmm. and just, like, see the pool. And then from there, determine if we're going to charge the next time. Do you have a... Do you have like a, a team like a like a like a bit like obviously like I saw so from the video that I saw last night is that like your band basically or what? So yeah yeah that's uh, my band but then I also have like so basically like whenever I stopped making like rap music when I basically made ten toes down and stopped I I started making a band and that's kind of like where my attention went for a minute and I stopped making hip hop and I stopped focusing on my solo stuff so i did that and it's a metal band we're called paralytic but then i have kind of focused back in on young decker as mm-hmm. a solo artist and went the pop punk type alternative new age type shit mm-hmm. um it's been coming out i started going in that direction just because it felt it felt kind of right i don't know like felt organic hearing the here yeah it felt organic like i didn't i didn't have to force anything I didn't you obviously have like rage. the same. Yeah, and I didn't have any rage in me because my other band, it's metal. So, like, I'm yeah, straight yeah. just, like, it's yeah, exactly. all rage. That's yeah, where yeah, yeah. Ten Toes Down energy is going right now. Like, okay. that is, like, the rage side of me. And then this Young Decker, um, my solo stuff, that's kind of, like, I'm making that be the the rock music that I like to make that yeah, I, yeah. I truly feel is more in tune with what I grew up on. I wouldn't I wouldn't say try to like total like you know like we were always talking about like the old days with X do, do not make a divide between your music just let it all be around you you know make the raid shit and then your new like like punky shit right now sound yeah. great like you know whatever it is you know straight from inside you obviously I know like punk is like a very like pop popular kind of sound but it's like 
I don't know, punk pop, whatever you would call it. I'm not sure what you would ever really call it because I, I, just tons of people are fucking do, doing it. But also, not only that, no disrespect, like your shit sounds actually good and right because there's some shit that just is like, eh. Like, nah. <laughs> like, your shit sounds like it could be like on a playlist or in a rotation and then someone just find it, like, just be like, oh shit, like, this is tight as fuck. I hope he makes more music. Exactly like that. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've been... I don't know. I've been working on my music for a fat fucking minute, man. <laughs> like, how, long, how long do you think you've been in, like, the music industry, like, year-wise? Like, working uh, on it? Music industry or just, like, music in general? Like, well, I music. say, like, music craft. Let's not say industry. Industry meaning, like, the like... The skill of, like, music? Like, yeah, like, just, like... on the talent and shit? Yeah. Um... So when I was like seven, my dad passed me passed down his guitar mm -hmm. from whenever he was in a band down to me, and from there like he'd sign me up for these lessons, and I'd go to these lessons, and I'd come back and I'd play these chords that I'd learn like three chords. And mm -hmm. Like, look, Dad, I can strum the guitar in a rhythmic way, and yeah, yeah. I can play these three chords. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Oh, you know, that's awesome. And then I'd go on YouTube on the computer and I'd type up how to play this song yeah, on exactly. guitar tabs. And then exactly. they'd show me a video yeah. of some dude playing it and he'd teach you. And I'd just copy and imitate and exactly. I'd play it within 30 minutes. And I'd, I'd tried like, hey, that Dad, a couple times, yeah. Look, what I just learned on the computer. And I'd ding, play ding, it. Ding, ding. And then he'd be like, damn. And then like from there, Fuck shit, the lessons. Fuck the lessons, Dad. So then from there... I was like, here, oh, uh, what song would be a good song to, can you hear that? No. No, you can't hear the guitar? No. Here. Nope. No? Damn. Anyway, so, like, I end up going and playing, like, some shit where it's like, oh. But, like, okay, it's, like, super there, fast, right? right? And so, like... It's uh, some Deftones. Dun, 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 uh, dun, 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 dun. It's uh, My Own Summer by Deftones. It's one of my dad's like favorite songs. And I was, like, oh, okay. Right. You fucking like Deftones? Yeah, dude. Grew up on that shit like crazy. Bro. Um, so I learned that and I show him and he's like, damn, you know? And like he realizes, I think, later on down the line that I'm like learning way more by myself on the computer than mm -hmm. at these lessons that he's spending money on. So... It's like, all right, I'm going to take my boy out of this shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, he knows what the fuck he's doing. And then in Iowa, um, when I was in seventh grade, I had a band with my little brother and uh, one of our, like, neighbors down the street. Not neighbor, but, like, down the street person, mm -hmm. you know. A, a homie of ours, though, one of our best friends, Graham. His dad wanted to uh, teach us all how to play instruments. So one morning, we he heard us just fucking around on the instruments, not knowing what the fuck we were doing. And he's like, you want me to teach you how to play? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we learned and we started playing as a band. And from there, I just kept moving every two years. So it was really impossible for me mm -hmm. to keep a band. So at that point, I just, I got into production. And I started making EDM and dubstep. And Ooh. dude, I started getting really into dubstep and death step. Like, because there were subgenres of dubstep. Yeah, and no. like, me and my homies were all in the <laughs> just, I just had an episode about shit. that. So like, <laughs> yeah, dude, like that shit, like yeah dubstep was like a big thing at one point for me and like i'd make all sorts of edm music just kind of like experimenting uh -huh. and and i went off to college made hip-hop beats for rappers and started kind of like getting into recording and stuff and came back uh after my first semester decided to drop out and said fuck it oh and man yeah, started no, i really uh pushing through life yeah it sucks man because like like you said, we gotta have that fallback, that just in case. And I think that's unfortunately priority number one. You know, whenever we're trying to push our craft and like things that we want to, to know actually do, i.e., music videos, you know, yeah. art, drawing, whatever the fuck it may be, performance, you know, theater. Uh, you know, I just yeah, that those little humps, like you said, always moving and shit, like. Like, I'm going to have to do the same thing, too. Like, I'm I'm always... Because within these past couple of years, for me and myself, like, I've had to, like, hop from a apartment to apartment to apartment, and I'm just, like, exhausted from it. But I'm, like... 
always being in the blue collar field working like getting up 7 a.m every day coming home either eight o'clock or hopefully three sometimes you never fucking know some days so it's just like yeah. It's just like, God bless, bro. Having the energy to sit down and, like, record sometimes. Like, like you know, like I already said, we pushed this this podcast back, like, a couple times. And I was like, fuck, dude, I need to really get on it. Like, I'm just fucking tired, just fucking lazy. <laughs> and I'm feeling bad. Night, man. That was me the other night. I felt bad. I was no, like, I felt bad I sometimes. Up, man. Like, uh. I know. I, I feel bad. So, like, but it's those it's those moments where it's just like fuck dude but like right now yeah i took off work took the time to uh you know get you know get my shit together and you know shit like that i'm in the process of like i don't know if you saw but like i'm gonna move states i'm gonna move out of texas i'm gonna go to michigan yeah uh, uh, that was a soda jocks episode whenever you had mentioned that yeah yeah that was like a kind of like a, a big thing this is something new for me like moving states away like states yeah states dude no nah, for real man i uh i did it when i was uh i was 21 and i was living in dallas for a minute and with my girlfriend dallas is deep though yeah my uncle was like hey man i have a job for you here i have a home to set you up in like to get you started like until you're ready to get out and stuff, and I was like, all right. And he, he, I was like, come pick me up. And I was very spontaneous at the time, so I said, I said, okay. fuck it. And I said come pick me up, and picked me up, and I just I went down with like a backpack, yeah. like no money to my name. And I was like, and he was like, we're gonna get to work tomorrow. And I was like, all right, well, yeah. 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 I think those spontaneous things, though, is like, like you said, you were very spontaneous in the moment. It's very tough for me to do those things because it's just like, just like everyone fucking else we get caught in the hamster in the hamster yeah. wheel of like just working and oh, sticking bitch. to the same bullshit every day and just being like no nah, just i'm gonna stick on this path here we go and so this fucking it's been a series of events for me to just finally push me through and just go <clears throat> uh fuck it like what well, i'm gonna i'm gonna be just doing the same bullshit here let's let's yeah. move on let's go to somewhere else and different setting i'm tired for one i'm tired of working in the fucking heat i've worked outside for four summers almost and it and it's fucking hell i've i've helped build amazons so fuck you come on jeff come on jeff let me just say that real quick jeff bezos you are fucking welcome dude i pulled the electricity wire in them bitches you know how fucking heavy that wire is dude Oh, that shit yeah. is heavy. I had to I had to push some of that shit the other day, man. Like, like the heavy ones where like it's like this big. There's like fucking yes. huge ass wide. Like it's, it's tr- fucking spaghetti tr- everywhere. Bro. It's pushing you. Yeah. It's and you have to like, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, dude, I'm like over here like scared as shit because like I'm over here like. Mm, if my cousin's hand is close enough to the thing, it's gonna slice his fucking skin off. Exactly. Like I already see it happening, and I'm like, if it moves too quick, so I'm like being exactly. careful. But then at the same time, like it's that's so how heavy. be careful. Uh, that's how risky the fucking business is, bro. It's so fucking tedious. It's so fucking stressful, dog. And I'm just like so thankful to get off work, and I'm like, oh, I gotta. Yeah. And then so, like I said, back to originally, it's just like, man, I just want to fucking hop on Elden Ring, dog. I just want to fucking play games. Yeah. That's it. For the rest of the day, nobody bother me. I will yeah. I will give y'all my attention another day. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. But like, yeah. uh, no, the, but whenever it comes to like, you know, making YouTube videos and shit like that it's not really a chore for me sometimes i like doing this shit i'm actually really enjoying the podcast and shit like that because like i said like i like to have conversation you know and see where it also lands in the end you know because if it's with great people and if it gives a chance for people to get their voice out you know and you know their image out it feels good it feels like i'm also doing the world a service at that whoever it may be you know yeah, no, most definitely. Dude, yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm trying to start getting into YouTube because I see that it's definitely a, it's definitely something that could help with music, you know, with my music making and stuff and like, 
what I do, I feel like it's something I need to be on top of and I haven't been. So I'm going to try and I'm trying to edit this fucking teaser right now for the blue music video, but mm -hmm. I'm also trying to have it be very like vloggy in a way. I yeah, want yeah. it to, yeah, I want it to, to look like a vlog more so you. than a you. teaser. And then, yeah. Most definitely, bro. If you want to, like, you know, hop in the Discord sometime and, and show me some teasers, or if you're up in uh, Soda Jock's Discord, I'll hop in there and uh, just message me and I'll come take a look at it sometime. Oh, yeah. And also, like, I don't know, at some point, I'm not going to give you any promises, but I do plan to open, like, I do plan, because I'm trying to become an editor myself. Like, I don't know if you. Some of my yeah. edits are like, eh. I'm trying to learn yeah, how I'm to be. Just I'm just now getting into editing, dude. Like, this shit is so hard. Like, I can make I, a real life video look probably decent. I haven't like, done it yet, but I've always pondered, like, working on music videos. Man, here, here. I'll go ahead. I'll show you real quick. So, are you cool if I go ahead and show you what I did to it today? The, the blue music video? You can go ahead. Yeah, I'll watch it. How do I do this real quick? Um, just share your screen if you screen. want. So, let me get this shit. But, yeah. I, Trust me, man. Like, I plan at some point All right. when I get really good and confident in my edits and I can put a price on it, <laughs> I might I might start trying to edit people's videos. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see this. We got action. Oh, yeah. Here. Tell me if you can hear it. I can hear it. You can? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Nobody cares if you're really not perfect Nobody cares if you're really out hurting Nobody cares if you're really not certain Nobody cares if you close your curtains Away from me, like away for you It's all okay, so we'll make it through I've been seeing Oh, I see it. I see the changes you made I can't, I can't, yeah. it's like, I'm, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on trying to edit it better, dude. I feel like I'm doing, like, I feel like I'm doing way better than, like, I expected because I expected to, like, go in here and not know how to do shit, but then, like, shot cut makes it fucking easy, and I'll, sorry to, like, emphasize on that word, but, like, man, like, I'll I go take a in, look at it because I haven't heard of that program. I use uh, Filmora. It's free. It is free and it is like like 100% free. You go in and like, for instance, like the the traily kind of like trippy effect. I just go in and I type in on the effects. Like I click on the click clip. I make sure it's segmented for the amount of time that I want it to be like that. And then from there, um, usually it's for like the whole scene of that clip. And then it yeah. goes and moves on to a different angle. So I'm like the whole thing should be that way. So I go and like I trip it out. And all I do is like go click, double click on it, go into the effects and type in trails and then <laughs> it comes up and I'm like, bop. And then I don't even, I don't, yeah, I turned it up like a little bit. So that way it'd be a little bit more trippy. But yeah. Yeah. And then other ones just like, yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's indeed. And then the, the color grading like is super simple. You just kind of like tweak it. And I, I, I wanted it to be uh -huh. blue. So it's a, it's a little bit of a blue tint to it. Can I suggest uh, f this uh, program called Wondershare? Wondershare? What's yeah, that? I th it's a it's like a it's a free editing program as well. But obviously, like uh, you know, they'll they'll make you it's they'll make you pay for the program for like better shit. Dude, I don't know. I if, haven't like, run into anything in Shotcut like that. Like it doesn't promote anything to be more expensive or anything. Like, there's no just, plans. Like, it just, dude. It just it gives you the thing. And it's like download on it, like it's the website, and it's just like download shotcut, and I'm like, all right, so I downloaded it, and then from there it gave me like a shit ton of things. From there, um, the transitions, like I found out, are more so just like, so transitions are images, right? Yeah, most of the time they're at different shades of like gray and black mm. to black, and so that's what how it comes in like different. So like, I found these free, uh, royalty free, um, fucking 
transitions and I yeah, was yeah. like, these look cool, cooler than regular, like the regular transitions. Mm -hmm. And so even those, man, it was crazy. Okay, I'll, I'll have to take a look at Shotcut personally. I, I guess I haven't, because there was a point in time where, dude, I don't know if you know, like the big uh, name fucking programs. Uh, yeah, I do. Real early on, bro, I tried. And I think there may be one video of mine, if it's still out there, but it's... I used Sony Vegas, and Sony Vegas was a program that's like three hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't pay for it. The homie, um, he fucking came through one day. Shout out Aaron, and he was like, "Hey yo, here, you want to be a YouTuber? Use this program." And and then it, he puts in his login and everything, and I get get it on my PC, and I'm like, for one, that I'm like, hold on. This all looks like I have to take classes for this bullshit. It's all fucking, like, organized, basic ass, ass text, no preview or anything like that. The thing about, like, like Wondershare, like, it gives you, like, that preview screen, and it'll show you what your actual video will look like. And it's kind of, for what, like, you're describing Shotcut as, it's, like, a simple, easy-to-use, you know, editing software. Because there was also a point where I stopped using that, and I was like, man... Because I got so burnt out of, like, making videos. I was like, it's a hassle because yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. And, and at the end product, it, it either looks like shit or, or it just looks like not put together well. So, But then I remembered on the PS4, there was a, a recording, in-screen in recording, you know, type shit with it. And... Yeah. Like I went and used that that program from you know that's built into PlayStation and and I somewhat put out decent little content pieces with it, but like obviously like there were points where I was like, uh, let me throw it on a flash drive and I'll take it to the computer because I had a computer at the time and let me kind of throw it and then I started to play around. I was like, okay, here's uh here's a Windows or Movie Maker. Here's Windows Movie yeah. Maker. I used Movie Maker and then I was like, all right, that's all right. Um. Here's Adobe Premiere. Let's try that for a minute. Uh, get a little free little trial. But, and I was like, fuck, it's too complicated. And then yeah. I found this program. I literally was on YouTube. I was like, good editing simple programs for beginners. Because, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm still a beginner. But as I get better, you know, I'm going to open my ears to, like, you know, better programs of, like, editing and, you know, shit like that. It's, yeah. It's really uh, tough. But. I will say, man, like, Shotcut, like, I, I'm not paid by them, but I think, uh, <laughs> no. um, Exactly. But, like, dude, they they even give you chroma key, which is, like, oh, yeah, yeah. green chroma green. effect. And I know so, that. Like, yeah, I use dude, it. Dude, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just, like, blown away. I'm, like, all right, this is. Learning green screen yeah, effects like, is, like, like, you're just, like, yes, I have the I'm power. Like, Shotcut is giving me all of these things for free. Is it does it want my soul? Like, what exactly. the fuck is it? Like, dude, like, it sounds too good to be true, but like, at the same time, I feel like maybe they see things like me and they're like, shit should be accessible to anyone because, mm -hmm. like, anyone should have the ability to go and do this. Like, it only takes four gigabytes of RAM on your fucking computer. Mm -hmm. Get a computer that's eight gigabytes of RAM for maybe like 700 bucks, and then from there, you're set. Like, yeah, shit doesn't take rocket science yeah. man like you just have to like really want it and that's why i i was preaching on instagram earlier i was like those who actually try to learn everything it takes to get where they want to be are going to be the ones who become successful like you have to learn how to do video edit if you want to do music because you have to have music videos People. nobody's going to want to do that shit for you unless you pay them and are you really trying to come out of pocket when it's just a chance? Yeah, it's, you know, uh, I hate to cut you off, but like, you know, you saying if you want to be in music, you kind of have to know how to put out like a visual, you know, to it, you know, fucking yeah. there are artists that don't like j just do that don't do visuals at all. And they have blown up, i.e. fucking Triple X. Like, he literally did oh, not. Oh, I know. But he, he was like, Dude, at nah. the end, though, at the end, didn't he direct that, that last music video? Uh, the when he, His last few, yes, he was doing on his own. But it, that's he was whenever really he was trying, dude. He, finally and, and getting there. He was trying it, man. Every artist, once they reach fame, they realize, okay, huh, 
I get to save all this money because whenever you get that, when you get to their position, videos don't cost two hundred dollars no more. They cost no. like thousands. No, you and so, and shit. Yeah, yeah. So they're gonna Actors. go and be like, "Huh, I could do this by myself. My homeboys, I could pay them like a thousand each, and it's like yeah. four homeboys. Bam, like you know, like that's how you." In and they start realizing, okay, I gotta put together a business. This is my brand. I've got to make sure that I have people, my own people. Are you gonna start directing like more of your own music videos? Are you going? I think what like not to tell you what to do, but I think what would be great is like if you do do the concert, obviously try to get the homeboy that that filmed that shit, film the yeah. concert, get the people. Would be great cut shots, you know, whatever. Well, it may so. Be. Zach, he, uh, or odd one out, he, um, he pretty much, like, he's, he came up with a whole script for, like, the music video for Blue, so, like, this is just, okay. like, some footage for it, we're about to shoot the, the garage scene where I'm working in a garage and stuff and doing things Okay, like you're gonna that. have some like, B-roll shots and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, so, yeah. like, I'm gonna have, like, a storyline within it, too. Cool, cool, and so, cool. So, we're doing that this week, and man, it's, it's, yeah, it's. It's a lot of fucking work, but he is like, he's like my right hand man in fucking music just because like right now he's helping me like a lot and I feel like we can both help each other get where we want to be because he helps me and we set up this badass music video and we set up music videos and photo shoots and do all this shit and there people are going to see that and people are going to be like, I want to work with his photo exactly. photographer. I want to work with his videographer. That's how it works. Wanna, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's like, great. That's so, that's great. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help him build up his brand, and I'm also he's helping me build up mine. So I'm gonna we, say, bro, we, you work all together. I was gonna say again, like I said before, like your brand's like from an outside perspective, so far pretty established. I know you're still. Do you feel like you're still in the beginning stages of it? Yeah. You, you're obviously not so done. Especially right now, with right now with with me switching kind of lanes, uh, kind of all all of a sudden and shit, I. For sure, I'm like, I know that this is just like the beginning. Like, blue, that's like the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. that shows people, all right, this is what I'm doing now. This is what I'm going to follow up with. And, and I've already let out several, like, songs kind of just showing, like, this mm -hmm. is the new direction that I'm going to be going for soon. I, dude, I, the fucking, it must be hard to, like, you know, to find that, like you said, that direction, that that lane that you want to go in, like especially like like you're saying, like oh, what sound do I want to put out there right now? Because to an extent, like you do have to kind of like test waters. I know right now there's a certain sound. There's like three sounds or something like that that are popular amongst like a public ear. It's like like I said, punk or the fucking yeah. New York drill or the fucking. <clears throat> uh, either some real west coast like trap shit yeah and i will say like i'm not a music expert i'm just a real deep music listener because i can yeah. listen to all types of music and like just see it from an outside perspective of like oh this uh, yeah. this is perfect perfectly composed uh due to the like you know g the way the guitars are played together the drummer in the background the singing you know and then when i hear like you know okay the beat is fire the wordplay is great his emotion is great and, and ten toes down. Like, it's just, like, like I hear it with your shit. So back to what I was saying, like, from an outside perspective and from, you know, just seeing, like, like being able to talk to you for the first time, I'm like, this is pretty fucking, I was excited. I was like, dude, this guy's, this guy's pretty fucking good. I don't know. I, it's kind of upsetting that, that you, you definitely do deserve, like, more plays than you, than you have right now. Like, how much is blue? It's like, what? Like, 600 and something. But, yeah. like, I don't know. It's because, like, I did take, like, bro, when COVID started. Yeah, it's now, tough. It's like, almost two years, bro. And, like, I just took off. Like, I just didn't make shit because I was focused on other stuff. And, like, mm -hmm. it really stopped a lot of, like, my emotion on SoundCloud. SoundCloud followers are way different than, like, oh, your yeah. Instagram followers. It's way different than your, like average followers so yeah i might have like twelve thousand followers like not twelve thousand twelve hundred followers on soundcloud but at the same time those are twelve hundred followers that what'd you say say it again i was just listening to title fight oh title fight 
Yeah, dude. It's one of like my favorite bands, I think. Like that Deftones, uh, just like two like bands that use shoegaze as influence. I don't know what it is about shoegaze that I like so much, but I like shoegaze a lot. Like, what is shoegaze? Turnstile. Okay, so like the band Turnstile. Have you heard them? I think so. So like they're blowing up right now. They have like a huge shoegaze like influence and like <clears throat> basically it's just that like it's that uh, man. It's kind of almost like do you hear these bands almost having like an eighties kind of like vibe almost with their vocals a little bit? Kinda, kinda. That's kind of like with the shoot, but it's like it's just that mellow like. I don't know how to replicate it. I'm not finishing right now. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I don't know what I... <laughs> I mean, that's just fire. I've heard it, like, like through, through fucking Samson's Discord and shit, but, like, not nah, don't. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, uh, I'll look, I'll look it up. Shoegaze. It's pretty crazy. I've never fucking heard that. Um, I'm, I'm not too well-versed in that. So, wait, going back, like, would you say that those are your main inspirations for music like what are your main inspirations right now are uh <clears throat> idol fight um deftones fucking like i don't know man like a lot like <laughs> punk music like i don't know like so punk music and shit can, can, are you able to hear the little dings that are going off from discord ding no no. Okay, cool. Let me sure you're not hearing them. No, I'm not. Um, Streamer mode, baby. It's all turned off. <laughs> Why? So, do you hear a um, bunch of dings and shit? Well, it's because my notifications keep popping off. Oh, okay. Shit. No, you're good. Um, but, uh, what's it called? Like, I just, like, I've had punk influences, like, around me and shit, and I've listened to punk music a lot throughout my life and shit. Mm -hmm. Something, uh, so, like, I like, have these punk influences and these like rhythms in my head and like things like that for like punk music but like i don't necessarily listen to, like any like actual punk bands in it per se mm -hmm. and like i don't listen to hardcore bands either but i have like these like rhythms and i have these like yeah melodies that like come from these genres and i'm yeah. like i know that they come from these genres because i'm well versed like i'm, I'm not gonna say i'm well versed because that sounds fucking weird but like <laughs> i know a good amount of music to where like i know like what i'm pulling from and like i know and what like, sounds right yeah yeah uh samson or uh soda jock told me to uh let you know that uh your music <laughs> reminds him a lot of mgk <laughs> yeah, that's you know like, i hate that on a right dude i hate it when people say that yeah, no, um, I mean, like, if you listen to MGK, Suko, and no. shit like that. Like, oh, stuff, Swaco or like, whatever? Swaco, yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. No, that. I don't even listen to any of it, and the thing is, is people t keep telling me that it sounds like that kind of stuff, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, all right, whatever. Like, I don't, like, I really, like, I listened to MGK's album, Down Tickets to My Downfall, but then, like, I listened to it, like, for, like, I'm, like, you know, I'd listen to it every once in a while within a month, and then I stopped listening to it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I haven't listened to, like, that Joden person, and I haven't listened to, like, the Youngblood, and I haven't really listened to, like, any of these, like, new artists that are coming out in the same area of music, and I'm like, I just okay. think, well, like, going back to the, what I was going to say, like, <clears throat> if you get that comparison, obviously, like, for you personally it's annoying obviously but like yeah from me uh you know obviously you know growing up deep hip-hop elements you know shit like that i just remember i hate to be this guy but like fucking wild boy you know mgk waka faka flame you know we can't fucking yeah. i'm not gonna sit here and white knight mgk all right i'm not gonna sit here and be like he's like one of the greatest changes his his comeback is great blah blah, blah because like Obviously, he's he's a character. I will say, dude, I fuck with his new music more than I fuck with his old music. Like, I'll say that. Yeah. Because, like, his new music, for me, I'm like... How many rap it albums did he put sounds, out? Like, It know? sounds... It sounds unique. Like, it doesn't sound like somebody else. It doesn't sound like he's trying to be somebody else either. Like, he's talking about his emotions. And I'm like, all right, cool, bet. Like... 
But yeah, you know. Also for me, I don't come. Well, I think from, it like, works though for him. Famous and rich, and so like I can't get down with his like crybaby shit. Yeah, it's like, dude, what are you really? What are you crying, crying about? about? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, like the you have a hot, you have a hot you're wife. Dating Megan Fox. You're on no, they're getting, they're engaged. Is, they're, yeah, but like you know, like it's just like, what are you really crying about, dude? Like exactly. No, I know. Just trying to feed into an image and like feed these kids some shit that you're that's, not actually living by that's me, a lot like, of artists that's a lot of for artists. me like i'm just like i live by the shit i fucking do. like i don't know man like well I that's what's great to... about up and coming you know yeah. it's like you you just preach what what you're going through and you know actual real emotion that's what's yeah. great for me seeing a smaller artist because i really do fuck with like the the underground uh, scene more so than anything i've been to a couple underground you know hip-hop shows and you know I granted I haven't been I've been to a couple underground you know EDM scene show, shows obviously, uh, you know just for me it's just great. Think it's <laughs> oh yeah, uh, for me it's uh, for me it's more interesting to see the start and be there at the beginning for someone and just see because it's genuine you know this is what someone wants this is this is really you know a, a dream a dream moment you know whenever you see your homeboy on the stage mixing the music live in front of hundreds of people or performing in front of like 80 whatever it may be it's his moment you know for me it's more interesting because that's what that person's really going for this is the real true moment like there's this fucking i remember i hate to be like this but like jack harlow put up a picture of like this is my first concert in something kentucky and there it was like a ballroom or something like that right and uh it was probably about like 20, 30 people just standing out in the crowd or whatever. Dude, I, I used to listen to Jack Harlow before he blew up. Like, I was listening to like Ice Cream and okay. shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I was listening to like his old shit, bro, before like he popped off mm -hmm. and shit. And like, I don't know what it was about me, man. I don't know what it is. But like, when shit pops off for an artist, I like to see them stay true to what they were you know mm -hmm. and so like i felt like jack harlow kind of changed up a little bit I'm oh well like, you hit a point though bro like you know whenever you you've gained the the amount of respect and like you know uh work and you put in i hate to be, be like this you put in the work you know and you put in the fucking time to to get to where you are so like obviously like you said you know starting out um me being a D, because I kind of, I, I never felt that way with X, you know, because there was a point, because I was really listening to X, like, oh, yeah. no, deep X. way before, and whenever I was in the process, what was so interesting is seeing, like, the process of becoming, you know, mainstream, it was interesting to see him, okay, double XL deal, um, freestyles here uh radio interviews uh, i like how he was like with the double xl he was straight up just like cut off the beat a lot of people really like, hated that i was just like yes i was like a lot of people hate yes it. you know what people said to me they're like why does everybody have to be so different you know and like shit like dude that. it's not about being different it's just like that's who he was like he didn't want to rap over that whack ass beat because like <laughs> that shit was trash dude like the whole thing is, <laughs> is like get yeah, a beat was you not have true. you don't have like the same people who's like who are all alike who are gonna want the same at whack ass beat like dude like you can only do so much to it and like plus like the way yeah he's also worked him in, into a space though like that image of like mm -hmm. when he got when he was on that cover when you saw it the half blonde hair, fucking not the one sm yeah, smiling. Like, yeah, you know it. You know he. This kid's seen some shit. The face tats, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. The image he was already. He's already been through some shit. Just got out of jail, you know. Not, not really fucking with it. But you know, he's in this point where he's got a following, and he's got to take up on it, you know. And it's, and it's interesting in that moment, you know, just everyone rapping and all their their shit. Cause I, I enjoyed that class. That class was great. That was also the class of Playboy Cardi, you know, shit yeah. like that. Um, Ugly God. I think that era prime, you know, also before that 2015 class, Lil Dicky, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi, those eras of, like, hip-hop and seeing them grow because, like, yeah, like you said, uh, 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 you Lil Dicky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't say I've listened to Lil Dicky, like, from the start. No, but so, so you know you know his song, Professional Rapper? That song goes hard, yeah. Okay. The producer that beat Stan Lane... 
I've I, I can pull up projects and share the screen and show you shit that I've gotten sent from him. Like, oh really? Yeah, like, it, it, dude, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy because these connections, the the further you go along with something, and as long as you stick to what you believe, and as long as you keep on following what you feel is right, I feel like I feel like you can manifest. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you know how like. I believe in karma and I believe in law of manifestation. I believe like yeah. as long as you are a exactly. good person you do what you feel is like morally correct, then from there on out, if you want to manifest shit, then it's you it'll it's, happen. It's yours for the taking. Yeah. And so like I don't know, like working with that P WAP person that I was talking about, the the artist P WAP. He um he you know made like built that bridge for that that connection to be made and i was just like wow this is crazy and yeah he it's crazy it's crazy what you can achieve really fast mm. if you just uh, offer up things and understand that not everything you do has to have a price on it because sometimes just the opportunity is better than nothing because like dude i i didn't charge anything for anything you know like mm -hmm. i don't i was like yo i'll do this for the opportunity like that's yeah. all i care about and he was like all right fine here yeah and <clears throat> it was like that like it was it's crazy you know like, it's just <laughs> uh, yeah it's fucking insane like <laughs> i've just gotta gotta know where you stand you can't have an ego going into anything you have to understand that there are people who are bigger than you meaning you got to do whatever you can to make that connection. And if that means giving up what you think is worth $80 mm -hmm. or $100, then fucking mm -hmm. do it. Because the thing is, is it'll come back around. I call those, those are called investments, like to me personally. Yeah. Like like me putting fucking thousands of dollars into this computer just so I can be able to capture and, and play yeah. games at the same time. Or like, you know, get good audio, whatever it may be. Obviously, I still need more investments. I, I need to do more, obviously. I could use a better microphone, better setup, but yeah, no, like my my PC was like seven hundred bucks, eight hundred, seven hundred bucks. Now, sometimes you don't need all that though, too. <clears throat> and then and then from there, like the focus rate, right, like the interface is like I think like one hundred and fifty, and then yeah. the mic was like one hundred and fifty or two hundred, and I was just like, or I don't know at the time, I feel like the mic was way more, but I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but like. Yeah, I feel like those were my most important investments because, like, that's how I knew I was going to make music and how I'd do it, like, at a, it pays at a quality off. rate. It like, pays off. It sounds great. Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. Dude, and I, dude, I've, okay, I've recorded at studios. I don't know what it is about being in a booth. I get claustrophobic or something in there. Oh, so, yeah. like, I don't feel like I get enough air, so I can't even, like, spit as much or sing as much or mm -hmm. like go as hard as i can mm -hmm. and so like being in a room just helps like being in a natural room helps because it's like a normal environment i can breathe i can yeah i can feel like comfortable i i see no yeah uh i've i can't i can't say that i've un understood that because like i i've i've tried to make music uh once or twice but like obviously it's never worked out back to what you're saying about you know like growing up and like grabbing the guitar and like you know stringing it or whatever but i used to play uh the ukulele a lot <laughs> funny or or not i would just like uh because i was a lifeguard at the time i would literally at my neighborhood pools i would just have a small little ukulele with me and like you know i would either you know just I would, when no people were at the pool i would be like how do i what are the chords to this song blah 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 sit there strumming all day sometimes yeah you know you get the you get the occasional shorty be like you play and i'm like mm -hmm. yeah not really though and i was just sitting there trying just but like um i've also i've tried to make one fucking rap song but like and i thought it was hard but like it was just unmixed and like my vocal, like, I was so far away from the mic sometimes. I need to get closer, you know? You, yeah, no, I... You have those hiccups? Yeah, like, I, what's your worst I, song, I, you think? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you wouldn't put out your worst song, but, like, have you no, made a my song? my worst song is, uh, 
my worst song I feel like is Red Light, which is on Spotify and like Apple Music and shit. Like, uh, are you able to play it right now? Um, I don't have Spotify. Up I have Spotify. Right. Yeah. What's it called? Red Light. I feel like that. That might be my. Is this under Young Decker? Yeah. But I've been hearing that Spotify's been like fucking up and shit, so I don't I don't know, I guess I'll 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 pull it up I'll pull it up later or some shit like that. I can't find yeah. it right now. Yeah, it's like it's probably like one of my I don't know, I don't really like it. It's like um you could tell the second verse I was trying to sound like not like myself and then mm -hmm. also it's just like I can flow way better now mm -hmm. as well. Like, I don't, I, dude, I was just like young. Um, I mean, like, dude, all of my music, like, before now, I feel like I just, like, I was young, you know, and like, I was just kind of doing what I felt was like cool and fun at the time. But now, like, yeah. I'm more so looking at like what I actually want to do That's... and like what kind of music I really want to pursue and shit. I mean, like, Blue, the producer. Because Blue wasn't, like, I didn't produce Blue, mm -hmm. the, the instrumental. I didn't, I, like, a lot of the songs, I'm not producing the instrumentals. I'm just, work, like, working with producers or finding beats on YouTube and stuff. And, like, mm -hmm. usually if I find a beat on YouTube, I'll hit up the producer and I'll show them what I've done. That way, like, they can see it, too. Mm -hmm. so, like, I like to make sure, like, the producers can see, like, the finished product. Because I yeah. know, like, as a producer myself, I'm always curious, like, yo, what does it sound like? Like, let me hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, no, uh, the fucking produ producing and everything like that, seeing Soda Jock just try to fucking make, like, he, cause he makes thousands of songs, but, like, I remember yeah. just seeing him being, like, I started coming over to his place and he was like, bro, check it out, I'm making music now. He's like, bro, I want to get real serious into this. And I was like, all right, bet. And he's, like, talking it up and everything. Yeah, like, he hit me up, like, dude, like, I've been like kind of like off on my own zone for a fat minute and then he hit me up randomly out of the blue and he was like hey man Tyler tells me that you you know you've been doing music and I'd really like to like talk to you about it and I was like yeah bro let's let's talk and man from there I just feel like I've been able to to kind of like show him a lot of stuff but at the same time get a lot of this stuff mm -hmm. done because like I'm able to just kind of like sh screen share what I'm doing and yeah. I'm like yo this is how I do it like from here like you can kind of take it like you yeah. can take what I do a little bit and kind of like do your own thing he's he's still trying to find his sound though right now dude it's, it took it's me years thing. man it took me like well the thing is is you got serious. two sounds though I think confidently yeah you think so you think you have like two sounds I think you do at least, I feel like I have like three or four, like, cause like I have like pop punk stuff that I've been doing, like the alternative mm -hmm. rock like shit, and then I have my band, which is like the screamo shit, like I'm really like screaming, yeah, yeah, stop. And then I have, like, I still have like that rap sound as well. Like, I'll go ahead and play this real quick, and I'm gonna play it like slowed down just cause, um that's how it's gonna sound the next time anybody hears it mm -hmm. this is this a rap song yeah bro i'm excited so i'm gonna play like slowed down basically it's just gonna be like it's supposed to sound chopped and screwed i'm gonna chop oh. and screw it before i like put it it's gonna be like an interlude on the album but it's gonna basically just be there to show but like, I also come from hip hop. Mm -hmm. I'm like, like hip hop. And shit, you have a, so. you have a hip hop. You like hip hop, you know, basically. Yeah. It's a deep background. I feel like for anyone to not like hip hop, like, to go on, like, you see pictures right now of like Ed Sheeran, fucking hanging out with Kodak Black, and yeah. you know, other like big artists like Beyonce talking about Drake, or or not Beyonce, uh, Celine Dion talking about Drake. Uh, you know, type shit like that. Hold on, let's see this. Right. So, 
like chopped and screwed kind of. Hey, shut up and back with the new floor and back better tap. I chill for a bit on my ass now I'm tap. Under the cap is happening, no bitch ain't. And me plan to get out of the back seat, pushing the new floor that nobody's matching. I got in the front, now you pussy bash. Yeah, yeah. Hey, said I keep. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Here, not, I'll go ahead and show you, like. Dude. Not, uh, this not. is the shit that I like. I like this shit. I think it, you could keep. Like, you could continuously drop songs like this, though, too. Alright, so here, here, here's what it sounds like on its own. Which I'll drop is like a single. Just the, uh, yeah. Simmy. Hey, said I'm back with a new floor. I'm back, better tap. I chill for a bit on my ass, now I'm taxed. I really ain't fuck. Cool, it's still sound. What's happening, little bitches? Man, me plan to get out of the backseat Pushing the new floor that nobody's matching I got in the front, now you pussy bash Yeah, yeah, ayy Said I keep it 100, I ain't fucking around Got me a bad bitch who holding it down In the town full of clowns who I can't be around Blasting the sound in the crowd full of frowns Said I'm turning shit up just to turn them around God gave me a gift, said I'm finna use and abuse And I'm tearing this shit to the ground You pussy stuck in the line, but you ain't finna do it <laughs> okay. Oh, go ahead and stop that. Okay. 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 But that shit is fire, though. Don't. I mean, like, I feel like you should. Uh, you should let some of it roll, like regular. Oh, yeah. No. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it be chopped and screwed right on the album, and it's gonna be like a little interlude. But then the next single I drop that's not on the album, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that song, not chopped and screwed, so that way people can enjoy it, and I'll uh -huh. let it be like. Drop like maybe two weeks or three weeks after it that way. Bro, like. you send me that song, I'm gonna play it in my truck, like just like in like <laughs> randomest areas everywhere. They're gonna be like, "What the fuck yeah. is that?" I'm gonna be like, "You ain't know about this. I Don't worry." Like, uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like not a lot of people have been paying attention to what I have cooking up. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like. Once I drop this album and shit, and once I get like <clears throat> visuals too done, like once this, once the blue music video is done, and once I get the flow music video done as well, like that'll just kind of take. I feel like it'll enhance my following and enhance like the kind of movement I have right now. Yeah, bro, your course is set great. I will just say like for one, you're doing it. I, to my knowledge, you're doing it all on your own, basically, right? Pretty much most of the edits, you know, recording, the, just, uh, the writing. <laughs> So, like, I write all my lyrics, I record all my vocals, I mix and master all my stuff. Um, and then I have my videographer slash photographer, Zach, um, who's a part of my team. I have my cousin, Zeke, who's not, like, around. He's supposed to be, like, my hype man, and, like, mm -hmm. he's going to be running pages for me as well. The because socials he's good at, like, shit, yeah. running social medias. I suck at that shit. So, okay. he's going to start running that, and then... um. And then from there, with, like, setting up shows and stuff, I'm kind of doing it. But, like, I have a homie with a sound system, and he's an artist as well. So, like, mm. he's getting in on it. And then, like, you know, so, like, what I'm, what's really, what I'm trying to do right now is make sure that my team is more so, like, everybody has their own kind of lane of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, if another artist wanted to come on come, board that's totally come along. fine like i have exactly. like i'm like i am starting a collection where like it is really only artist based and i am gonna have producers in it and i have and i'm gonna get like photographers and well, videographers in it that way it'll help grow other people but like starting a label i want to yeah kind almost of. i want to make sure though that like i want to make sure that the push we have is the right kind of push because i feel like I feel like the quality of that music video that I'm putting together, like that quality, is way better than than what it should be. Like mm -hmm. somebody who's never edited a video before, that should not be the quality. Oh of no, of course, of course, no, yeah. Like I, I, you know, I, I don't even part of the time I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. So like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got you. I got you. No, uh, the editing part is is really like in itself like a. A, a tight little conglomerate is tough as well but like i said though if when i get really serious and shit if you want to send me some shit I'll, i i can probably send you some rough drafts and of like some recordings if you just send me dry footage 
and yeah. Oh, yeah. but also if you just th- throw in whatever direction you want i don't mind i've never really done that like like worked with someone before but i'd be down too sometime if you're ever interested oh, um yeah, no. I'm, I'm down uh i will say though like yeah working on going back to working on it all like on your own and shit like that uh you know it's it's tough doing like like we said before it's tough doing it on your own because like you know you you got so many things that and it almost just seems like it's like like tough to get that the right one out there you know how many songs do you like uh like trash out of in like, do you make songs a day? Would you say how much yeah, would you produce? Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and show you a song that I trashed the other day. <clears throat> Damn. Um, I told you to show me your worst song, and you showed me a fire ass song too. <laughs> Dude, that that rap song, that song was yeah. fire. <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Yeah. Um. No, this is one that I was working on. I'm trashing this one. I get so hard for me to say been fucking up cheap the way you move your hips we walk away can you please stay another day another night another dollar got at least so time and it feels like a color I've been waiting all damn day just to see your face um well let's here uh, uh let's move on a little bit I hate to be like that but Aside from the beats and everything, um, do you have like a, I know, aside, like we've already talked about your team and everything, but uh, you said your cousin or something like that will be doing like your social media shit, right? Or something yeah. shit like that. So essentially like what I'm trying to ask here is like, do you expect to have like some sort of management or something like that soon? Or label or something, some sort of something like that? My whole thing is, is I want to say is independent as possible now i'm if a label was to be like yo um here's the uh, deal of your dreams then like you know i'm gonna figure out how to i'm gonna figure out how to take that opportunity and use it to the fullest to make sure that i'm well set i would just take it as a stepping stone yeah so like i don't know man like if a, if a label was to be like here's a seventy thousand dollar advance we want an album, mm. you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure that I use the least amount of that money for the music process and even the music video making process. And from there, be like, you're going to promote me as being as independent as possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you're not going to, yeah, you're not going to like try to, I don't know, man. I, not going to try to fuck you or any, or any shit like yeah, that. Uh, exactly. No, uh, I think because like. What labels really do look for right now is that unsaid talent and artist. And obviously, I will say like, like you have it. It's clear. It's clear as day. Like you got, you got the, you got the flow, and you just need, you just need that, that strong. You just need to build that base more. That's all. Like, and I really fucking hope, like, it gets to be something bigger than what it is now. Because dude, this shit is fired. This shit needs to be like on playlists, like everywhere, like in rotations, in like those, like. Spotify playlist that that just get put up there. Well, for yeah, the dude. Not see. blue. Blue was on the radio like three weeks straight. I was like, what the fuck? And the radio <laughs> where you live, really? Yeah, yeah, on the rock station. Like, hey, it was every Sunday night, but like, yeah, it was cool. How, dude, that's crazy. So what? Did you like submit it or some shit like that? Yeah, I submitted it, and then they kept playing it. Like usually, you just submit it, and then they play it for like a week, that weekend, you know, and that's it. That's and crazy. Then, like they just kept playing it, and then I dropped something new and then mm-hmm. the dj radio host he'd be like is this new and i was like yeah and he'd be like send this through i want to play it mm-hmm. on, on the radio and i was like shit all right so mm. yeah and then he, he yeah yeah it's, it's been it's been late it's been late dude <laughs> um 
So getting getting past that, uh, I guess one one last little story that uh, I was asked to tell you about was uh, or you to tell me about was tell me something about total minor, whatever that is. <laughs> was it a uh, soda jock? Yeah, a soda jock. Yeah, this asshole fucking. Uh, so I uh, <laughs> fucking. Total Miner Forge, right? So, uh, <laughs> you gotta let people know what the way we do. The way we, me and my friends do shit is, we, you know, you have those big games like Minecraft, and then you have an indie game come out that's exactly like Minecraft, and you say, "Fuck Minecraft! Minecraft costs twenty bucks. I'm trying to play this shit for free." So, Total Miner Forge is basically like just a rip off, like a straight rip off of Minecraft. Yeah. Right? Except, I'm pretty sure when you load into a map it's just like flat or is it like, like one of those xbox days, it was just flat yeah it was xbox 360 like is those indie like games indie game. yeah on okay. xbox 360 and like it's only on xbox Dude, i looked on xbox one do the other day i was like total minor forge nope and i was like <laughs> Fuck. so like i think it was we're playing and we build this huge ass like thing right and we get on one day, or like everybody's like, Derek, get on, Derek, get on. I get on. This asshole is like, has TNT and explosives all around my shit. <laughs> and I get on and I load up, and he's like, bye bye. And I'm like, Fuck. that's what, like. He told you to get yeah, on yeah. to destroy your shit in yeah, front of you? So he can show, yeah, yeah. What a cock, dude. I That's fucking soda jock, dude. Soda Jock, you're a cock. You're, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, no, me and, me and Soda Jock, we go, dude, we all go, like, way back. It's crazy, like, it's crazy because I left Fort Worth and went to Dallas, Dallas, like, inner city mm -hmm. Dallas, and I was living there for, like, the rest of the sophomore throughout high school, went to call, like, after my senior year, that's when everybody like hit me up to hang out again. And I was like, yo, what's good? And then mm -hmm. like I went to college, came back and like started kicking it with them. And we'd like, you know, hang out and do some shit. And just, mm -hmm. You know, and young, <laughs> what young, we'd do. Young shit, uh, go out to eat, some yeah, shit. Young shit, yeah. Uh, won't go into, uh, won't go into the, the crazy shit. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, 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 we just we do we do a bunch of cool shit. I don't know. What uh, so, it, how is it living in Oklahoma versus like Texas? Like, is it because man, the cost of living is fucking cheap out here. It's so much better than Dallas. Cause like oh, that's Dallas. Not to, like hey, dude, not to hey, dude. Where I was living in Dallas, dude, I'd be paying double or triple what I'm paying now for what I'm getting. Dallas like, is I'm a big name like, city. Fuck, God, like yeah. Like last time I was like, last time I was looking at moving back to Texas, I was looking at like suburbs and shit. So I was like, "Fuck that." So you need you need to try like Fort Worth is still it's gonna be bad eventually, but like, uh, yeah, definitely living in the Dallas area. I know a couple friends and homies of mine that <clears throat> where it's cost of living there is just like asinine. You know, no matter where you go, whatever side of Dallas you live on, it's a it's a pain yeah. in the ass. But not necessarily the cost of living side um like that's the reason why like all the homies want to leave texas and shit like that not me personally there's shit to do here in texas like like dude, go there's have... so much shit to do there there's dude like versus there's oklahoma shows, there's bars there's all this shit in texas what about oklahoma like is it is it like that or no like no and it's crazy like it's so hard to get shows out here like i mean like i bet it's easy if i was to get in with the right people again but like i've i've like done i, I i've tried to to fuck with the city and stuff that i live in and i've tried to like tried to like help artists out and stuff mm -hmm. and i always end up feeling like everybody is like very unappreciative and like it's just like to themselves right, if i'm doing this shit in my free time in my spare time that like i could be devoting to my fiance or devoting to like 
my life. Work my life. Music, my fucking music videos. My I could pull some extra hours from work. I can finally get some extra hours of sleep. Mm. You know, like why why would I keep recording and feeling unappreciative, like appreciated, aided, mm -hmm. doing like I don't know. It's just there ain't there ain't shit to really like you know play off of in Oklahoma is what you're saying right there's no real no, no, like it's just like I've I've worked with a lot of people here and like I like I've had a lot of good experiences and there's a lot of great artists out there but I've also dealt with some that like have just like made me really like not want to do it anymore mm -hmm. and, that's yeah. like, and I've dealt with like a lot of people who've made me not want to do it anymore to the point to where it's like, all right, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm mm -hmm. just going to focus on my music in my spare time. Yeah. And like my life and like what I need to do to better myself. Exactly. You know, and like, you know, like there's, like I said, dude, like I, there's a lot of artists here that I fuck with. There's a lot of artists I hope do really well, but like because of other artists, like, they've ruined it for other others you know like and so like i'm just i'm doing my own thing for a little bit sorry my fucking oh, i'm trying to adjust my shit all right yeah uh i was gonna say like you don't hear that many artists come out of like oklahoma or anything like that not not to my knowledge yeah, I, no, there's <laughs> at least Texas in a, in an area in a sense, but you know, like there's those big name cities and shit like that. Uh, you know, it's just it's just hard and difficult to kind of like you know find some shit to like you know take your mind off of like work and shit. Like the reason why I was asking is like, how is it like? Is it fun out there? Because, um, you know, shit here it, it's like it it almost seems like there ain't shit to do here sometimes. Even as long as I've lived here, it's almost seemed like that, but you just got to look for it. There's, like, beautiful places to, like, hike at, you know, and, you know, uh, you know, go go to, yeah, like, have, 7th like, Street Creek. or something yeah. like that. You got a good amount of scenery in, like, uh, like real rural area and, like, uh, like, also, like, clubbing. The clubbing scene is great. Like, I don't know, like, really, if you've ever been to 7th Street, 7th Street is, like, the main hub of, like, Fort Worth where, like, everyone goes out and parties, like, after, after hours oh, yeah. type shit. Um, there's always, like, that college street, college town where you fucking just, like, go get drunk yeah, I shit. Used to, I used to live in a loft in Deep Ellum. Deep and Ellum, so, like, okay. I was pretty much, like, always, like, under, dude, I was 19 going into bars, like, these bars would just let me in and then i i i i would fuck with all the staff like everybody would fuck with me you know like everybody knew who i was mm. through, like friends and shit and so like i'd basically just go into these bars they'd know who i was so they'd just let me walk in mm -hmm. underage and be like i'd like a shiner box and they'd be like all right that's all right this. And, ah. <laughs> that's funny and i just yeah and i'd be like 19 uh there's this one <clears> place <throat> drugstore cowboy it's not up anymore but dude like i used to go there underage and i'd go and i'd rap on stage bro and just wow yeah, it's, it was a lit situation <laughs> bro so uh we're, we're coming ar around like a good wrap-up time but uh do you have like any other uh goals beyond your music that you're trying to take yourself right now other than that uh, or or do where do you want to take the music? Obviously, do like do you see yourself becoming like one of those A tier like artists and having your name up there? Man, I just I do music just for the fucking hell of it because it feels like I can't really live life without doing music. Mm -hmm. So you just do I'm gonna be fun. doing music just just to do music, and exactly. if I make something out of it, then that's great, but if I don't, then I'm gonna keep doing it until I fucking die, like, I, I mean, like that. music's something that, like, I don't it's know, dude, I remember being a little kid, like, being held as, like, a toddler or baby, I don't even remember how old I was, but my dad was playing in a house with his band, just practicing, like, in rehearsal, and I remember that shit, and, like, I'm like, I shouldn't remember that shit, but I remember <laughs> that shit. But, like, that's, like, like, I feel like I was born in the music and like i was meant for it yeah so, like, it's in your blood kinda, like yeah yeah like for me like it's hard for me to do it because like i don't have any musically talented like family members it's kind of like not even just that but like the inspiration and like 
the work it takes a lot of work to find the sound you know going back to Dude, what we were saying apparently apparently my fucking uncles my uncles on my mexican side of the family on my mom's side of the family um they were all fucking like in a band bro like in touring and shit like a mariachi mm. band, like <laughs> yeah nah dude like some shit like that bro like yeah nah they were like but they were touring and shit mm. and going around like playing shows and shit and I'm just like there you go there's there some talent I was, At least I was born for it it's more validation and like yeah like I was made for this shit you know it's it's tough it's tough you know like like I uh I really don't have any of those inspirations to like you know pull from like myself so like I just like to be the one that do that that does that you know like I don't have that many homeboys that that know like oh I'm I like editing videos or or like some shit like that oh I like you know putting out the gaming videos or recording the shit like that I have a few obviously obviously it's a very popular thing like people want to play like always be a streamer you know and make yeah. their money off of Twitch you know or YouTube streaming shit like that and oh, that shit's hard. You have to like be consistent. You have to like really give your time anything, to it. Like, man, I tried to do Twitch, trying to like listen to people's music and like you know like the music Twitch, to them yeah. and like give them like advice and shit. Dude, I fucking I just like within the second day I was like, do fuck this. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a, like it's an attention span that you need. At yeah, some point. it's just like for some reason now like editing me this music video like that shit like i wake up and i'm like what else can i add to it yeah it's, and, it's, like, it's interesting throughout the day i'm looking at tutorials and i'm like what else can i add to it and so like you for, know it's becoming something where like i'm just i'm really like for I'm me really getting into it yeah for me it's always like uh whenever i think of a video it's always like um I have a picture in my in my head of what I wanted to be because I watched like a lot of like movies or like you know growing up watching a lot of like you know uh, montages or something like that you know or like hearing yeah. but like me being in love with like super hip hop or like certain songs that I hear like I'm just like dude these need like more recognition like like these songs are valid I want to put some sort of visualization behind it and like this is what I will this like i'll have the end project like i'll have it in my head just thinking about it and being able to like just sit down and just like work on it and then see that fruition like come to like you know real life it, it is kind of like it like euphoric to me in a way it's just like wow yeah. i fucking i did that holy shit what i what i thought of it's like it's it, that shit looks hard as fuck it I timed it real well. The shot hit right, you know, whatever it was. You know, the transition's perfect. The the beat is right. It's like one of those art pieces, like, you know, that you're saying, like, how you just, you know, consistency. Consistency. Yeah. And, and obviously, as time went on, like, I just started getting a little bit better over and over again. And Yeah, dude, no, like, my, my uh, videographer, Zach, like, dude, like, he got all of the perfect shots for the music video blue like that shit like it was fire it wouldn't look so clean if it wasn't for his shots like mm -hmm. the editing is like the editing can be a bunch of edits and like the editing can make shit sort of look good but if the shots aren't good then it's not gonna be good oh filming yeah filming he is also great such a good job like yeah it's good that he has like the the proper camera and everything for it too, because like I don't I do not have like I I expect myself to invest in things like that sooner on in the future, like maybe a very serious vlog camera or something like that. But not eventually right now. I literally would pull out the phone and be like, "Yo, check it out." Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's that. But um, yeah, man, we're coming up to probably a two hour mark with some of the cuts. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. this was fucking great. I appreciate you. Do you wanna like you know let people know what you're about? Give them your. I'll put your socials in the in the comments or in the description below. But uh, yeah, just you got you got the platform to yourself, baby. Yeah, man. It's just uh, follow me at Young Decker on everything. If you are using a computer and you look up uh, my SoundCloud, it's gonna be SoundCloud.com forward slash young decker dick um <laughs> i really like x <laughs> doing me both like, that's good to hear <laughs> like yeah um yeah just give me a follow uh tune in i'm gonna be dropping an album soon on all platforms but half of it is up on soundcloud right now it's an ep for the blue album uh check it out and it should be up on all platforms here soon and i'm gonna i should have a music video for at least two of the songs, if not uh, at least one of them, by the time I drop it on all platforms. 
Yeah, bro, that sounds great. Um, dude, we could you and I alone could have probably another two hour podcast about yeah, X. I can see that <laughs> shit. Uh, I know. <laughs> but X is, dude, that's like inspiration, bro, right there. So many people fucking just was like, I don't. They didn't understand, and I found that's already like two times that I've had Man. like. It's crazy. It's, X was just like that, like opened up my mind whenever I was really doing music. Like when I really got into it and took it serious. Like that's whenever I got put onto him. And then from there, like I was just like, shit, just like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It was weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it kind of gave you that little, like, little boost to kind of like, you know, do better. Have creative freedom, man. That's what it was, man. Like seeing how he would just scream on a track. Yeah. Dude, okay. You're right. If we were to go on, <laughs> give me another two hours, man all right but uh yeah again man i appreciate you um and uh, thanks for being on thank y'all for watching and uh i'll see y'all on the next one it's been your boy nikki j young decker and peace. peace